Today I decided to uh, give you a tutorial about acute pancreatitis. Lots of students ask me um, about uh, pancreatitis. Um, it is a very big issue, um, a, a big topic to uh, get your head around. But uh, today I decided to give you an overview of the topic uh, of acute pancreatitis. Uh, so you at least have a basic understanding of what the disease is and uh, what are the uh, important uh, issues and things that you need to do to give the patient to uh, hopefully recover from their uh, uh, acute pancreatitis. Now, there are many causes of acute pancreatitis and I will uh, describe them to you. Um, funny, sometimes uh, I ask all the students about the uh, uh, cause of acute pancreatitis. Uh, everyone seems to re remember that scorpion bite can lead to acute pancreatitis, but I've never seen uh, a case like that, and uh, we all break into uh, laughter. Um, anyway, so we will uh, uh, go over the uh, Next um, a slide that will uh, show us the main causes. Um, the main causes are number one, uh, gallstones. It's the major culprits. Um, alcohol intake, and that with alcohol intake, it means that people who are habitually drinking large quantities of alcohol, and these people are. Uh, young in their 20s and 30s and usually there are psychosocial issues underlying the uh, problem and they tend to get uh, acute exacerbation of uh, their uh, settled pancreatitis which is usually a chronic form of pancreatitis. So it's a little bit different disease from a pancreatitis caused by other uh, reasons. Um, an important cause for uh, 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 pancreatitis is ERCP the endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography. That's where we uh, put the endoscope down to the uh, duodenum and try to uh, uh, take uh, some uh, idea about the anatomy of the uh, bile duct uh, to do a sphincterotomy, to put a stent in an obstructed uh, bile duct, to take a brush from a uh, structure that's suspected to have uh, um, uh, to, to be malignant, but its main thrust really is sphincterotomy and removal of stones uh, from the uh, bile duct, and also uh, if there is obstructing tumor to stent the lower end of the uh, bile duct. Uh, the risk of having pancreatitis with the RCP is something like 10% or so. Medications, um, it's very vague area. Um, we know that um, immune suppressive medications uh, as a thiopran and uh, uh, steroids are definitely uh, listed as causes for acute pancreatitis. And also to some extent diuretics, uh, such as frosamide and uh, amyloride. Uh, other than that, everything has been blamed, including antibiotics, but it's difficult to prove. And it's not a, a common disease. And in the cases that I have seen, at least, are all mild. Tumors of the pancreas are a very important category. So we, we know that we, when we get pancreatitis that uh, uh, you should worry about the pancreas, whether there is a lesion in, in the pancreas that could actually be the cause. Uh, these lesions tend to obstruct the uh, pancreatic duct and lead to seepage of pancreatic enzymes. Uh, and pancreatic enzymes are very uh, corrosive. They lead to... Uh, injury to the, uh, to the surrounding tissues and incites uh, an inflammatory uh, response. So CA pancreas, pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors, and intraductal papillary mucinous neoplasms can be the cause that led to pancreatitis. We have to be aware of this, particularly if we see someone old, and there are no stones in the, in the uh, gallbladder on ultrasound. There is a significant group of pancreatitis which is called idiopathic, and that ranges between 10 and 20% of the cases where we don't actually have a reason. Uh, and uh, there is a theory that the, all these uh, might, might be caused by microlithiasis, um, and I suspect uh, 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 some of them at least will have a long 
common channel between the pancreatic duct and the bile duct, which means that mixing the bile with the uh, pancreatic enzymes uh, will lead to activation of the uh, pancreatic enzymes and hence the uh, pancreatitis. The rest of them are usually unknown. There is a small group which is called autoimmune uh, pancreatitis, and these are the people who has got raised uh, immunoglobulin type 4. So we ask for IgG4. Most of these patients will have other autoimmune disease, such as salivary gland problem or joint problems. So we need to be aware of their history. And also when you take a CT scan for them, uh, the uh, appearance of autoimmune pancreatitis is uh, remarkably different from the uh, pancreatitis changes that happen uh, with other causes. You will need to see a CT scan to uh, be able to have a, a, a picture in your mind as to how it looks. And I'll try to do that certainly in the uh, future uh, lessons when we uh, go in depth with the uh, troubles that we see in acute pancreatitis. Metabolic causes are, uh, are recognized and the main two that can lead to pancreatitis are hypercalcemia, usually from a parathyroid adenoma undiagnosed. So everyone with pancreatitis, when we don't find the reason, check their calcium. Hypertriglyceridemia. Now, these are not the people who's got raise, raise a little bit of uh, cholesterol and they are on some uh, cholesterol or some other anti cholesterol medications. These people are usually inherited or have inherited a gene that led to hypertriglyceridemia. And the triglycerides is the culprit because it uh, clogs the small blood vessels and lead to damage of the pancreatic tissue. Now in terms of uh, clinical presentation, I want to make sure that, um, uh, I, may, I sorry, I just wanted to make sure that you are absolutely clear about this. Uh, when we say uh, pancreatitis, most of the time, uh, if you tell me this patient uh, has been admitted for pancreatitis, I will assume only one thing and only one theory that this patient came in with abdominal pain and they have raised lipase three times above the limit or above the normal limit because lipase and amylase could grow up in a variety of uh, abdominal emergencies such as perforated ulcer, ganglion scolecystitis, diverticulitis, uh, even an appendicitis, perforated viscous. So it's non specific for the diagnosis of pancreatitis, but it is a sensitive. Test. So when you get abdominal pain and raised lipase, uh, then we start thinking pancreatitis, and most of the times we are right, but you have to keep in mind that it could be something else that you might need to find out or exclude. 